Hello and welcome back to the channel friends, it is great to be here, and I hope you're doing well. So today we'll be rocking and rolling with some more Heroes Warband. And my friends, I bring to you the long-awaited Demon vs Void run. And all great Demon armies start with, of course, a sponsor. And the sponsor we're using today is a fellow called the Fire Pest. Now we'll get a little bit more into the Fire Pest and what it does once we get into the run here. But first and foremost, let's meet the Warband. So we're going to go with two of these Doomsayers. And what do we know about these Doomsayers? Well, it appears to be a high growth rate unit, which is very nice. Slow attack speed, ranged unit, with good attack damage and splash damage as well. Really excited to use the Doomsayer. In fact, it's the character that sort of jumped out at me as soon as we unlocked all the demons. And then secondly, we'll be going with the Infernite because we need a melee presence. The Infernite is a pretty good character overall with decent growth rates. Not to mention 20 base dodge. Y'all know how I like my dodge, and y'all know how strong dodge actually is. So that is the Warband. Let's hop right on in. And while we're hopping in here, my friends, if you're enjoying the content here on the channel, then please consider becoming a subscriber. Would really love to have you in a growing community. I thank you so much for spending some time here on the channel today. Give the video a like if you're liking the Heroes Warband. And once again, like I said, thanks so much. So where are we headed? Well, we're headed for the Void Realm. What do we know about the Void Realm? Well, the Void Born Plains is where reality warps to reveal alien vistas and strange creatures. The landscape features surreal mists and bizarre flora, humming with mysterious energy and hidden dangers, right? So we're gonna do our best here, my friends. I've never been to the Void Born Plains, so I'm really looking forward to this. Without further ado, let's go! Alright, so... We notice sort of uh, an alien planet, if you will, and we have these little... Uh, Guess I don't even know how to describe them. I kind of pride myself on being able to describe what I'm seeing before my eyes here, but I don't know, like ninjas with purple swords, maybe like ethereal beings of some sort. For our first level up here, we do have Tyr, the novice doomsayer. He's got life, steel, or blood, lust. I mean, ranged unit, right? I guess we'll go with bloodlust. I mean, it's a little uninspiring. And what's also particularly uninspiring about this class is the super high attack speed. Let's get that rectified as quickly as we possibly can. For our next level up, we have Dran the Infernite. Drawn Dran. And he gets Double Slash or Stealth. A Double Slash is a really good one. It's a stunning melee move. You'll love to see that. And then, of course, we're going to build him in the direction of Dodge. And last, we have Crix. Again, a Novice Doomsayer. Stealth and attack upgrade. Let's go with attack upgrade. Really curious to see how strong these Doomsayers get because, I mean, they have just base splash damage and it looks like we have a little ethereal archer coming on the field. Definitely interesting stuff. We're going to get some ticks in HP regen for sure. And then maybe attack speed. I mean, it does seem like the demons in general sort of attack slower. We're going to... We're going to learn a whole lot more about them, that's for sure. Really looking forward to seeing their advanced forms as well. So the first battle wraps up. We get a suit of armor and a ring. And we got an MVP bid for Dran here. Hopefully the first of many. We have Oval's Ring here, which is a novice amulet. It simply adds a skill slot. What I always do when I get Oval's Ring is I simply just sell it. You get a really good chunk of change for it. We got Novice Cloth Vestments. Does this add dodge? Yes, it does. All right. Great piece of gear for Dren, for sure. And what do we have here? We have a Dreadlord. Okay, so this is another creature that was available in the Demon Kit, right? Bad growth rate on this fellow here, but decent attack speed, decent HP. Probably more of a, a frontline melee unit, I would guess. So why don't we bring them both board? Actually, we could promote. Yeah, let's promote. Zor. Welcome, like, welcome to the team, and then you have become our most advanced unit already. And look at Zor here, definitely a more armored demon with a nice mace there, right? Actually, that's not a mace, that's a flail, for sure. Excellent. All right, love to see it. And for our sponsor, I did allude to this in the intro, but we have the Fire Pest. So the Fire Pest will increase burn damage and crit chance for all heroes. And the cool thing about this is rarity increases the count, right? So... The rarer tier and cricks become, the more this is going to just snowball. It's going to add burn chance and crit chance as well. So you love to see that. A rusty leather armor seems like a decent choice. We have a short sword. I think that's a good item for Dren. So let's go ahead and get this on Dren. This can go on Zor. 
And I think we can either we can either save our cash or roll in. Wait, what's this? So the rebirth pit. This must have just been added. Only heroes who fell in the last round can be revived here. Okay, so it's a cool way to get maybe a hero that you really are endeared to back if it falls. Definitely an option. I think we save our gold here. If I reroll, I simply get one selection for item, one selection for hero. Let's save our 36 gold and see what the next round brings. Let's go. Looks like we have a more armored unit. It's probably the, the second tier, the adept tier of these ethereal swordsmen that we've been slaying so far. We got Zor just pounding. Love to see that. And then Dran. Just got a feeling. I got a good feeling about Dran, that is. Windstab or HP buff. So poison or... I mean, I'm always in favor of taking an offensive skill for sure. Uh, attack damage. I think it's a decent one. His attack speed is pretty good. So let's go damage. You see that splash damage at work there for, for tier. Priority charge. It's definitely not a skill for a backline unit. I guess we got to go with HP buff, but attack speed is a sure thing here. Uh, we have Thunder Rune. Thought these guys were archers. But he can learn Thunder Rune, which is a mage skill. I mean, I love it. Looks like they've got some uh, additional information here. No translation found for attack damage in Misk Words table. Seems to be some kind of uh, coding error, maybe, perhaps. But, I mean, our backline ranged archer unit can learn magic spells. That is awesome. It might just be classified as a spellcaster. I'm not sure. Looks like we have these little Beholder dudes, right? Known in the lore to petrify. And let's get another tick into HP regen here. Let's take these units down as they come. All right, we got a nice little purse of gold here, 48. And we're going to find out real quickly if our little fire thrower dudes are classified as a mage or not. Because we have... Yeah, they are. So they wouldn't be able to wear the scepter if they weren't classified as mages. So interesting. For some reason, I thought they were archers. So, definitely... So I have a Celestial Rod. I don't want to put on a weapon that will decrease their attack speed, right? We want it to shoot fast. And then we do have a boss fight here. What's this fellow? I guess I don't even know what to expect here in the Void. But Demon v Void, it's the matchup that always had to happen. So let's go ahead and grab... I mean, do I grab a Celestial Rod? It does increase attack speed. And then I think our stud is... This guy right here with the Thunder Rune, right? Definitely want to make sure he stays alive. And we have an Elemental Nexus Amulet, which adds burn and poison. And another Oval's Ring that can be sold promptly. Let's throw that on you. I suppose. We'll throw that on you. It does increase the damage by quite a bit. Let's go ahead and re-roll. There is another sponsor. But we need a few more missing links here. So let's see if we can find them. We have a Hell Beast. We also have a promotion for our Doomsayer. So let's get this first and foremost. Crix, welcome to Adeptness. And look at him there. Definitely a little more evolved, right? A little more evil looking. The horns grow out just a little bit. And he's playing more with fire for sure. We also have a Hell Beast here. Love to add that. And look, we do get the Fire Snake now. Okay, so you need the Infernites, the Hell Beast, and this guy. What's it called again? The Dreadlord. Okay, so we have the Fire Snake and the Fire Pest both present, supporting our team. And we also have some leggings here, which would be a really good fit for Dren, given they add dodge. So 31 dodge for Dren here, going into our first boss fight. 79 gold in the bank. I think we just hold on to that so we can re-roll more freely. Either that or it's cheap. I suppose I can re-roll. Maybe we can get a promotion. They will a wand. Attack range damage and stun chance. Yeah, don't mind if I do. We'll throw that on tier over the Eldritch Scepter. All right, we're good there. Let's save the gold and let's see how we do against the first boss. We have Kin, who is a summoner. Interesting. Okay. Saw the Thunder Rune proc off there, right? And we make short work of the first Void boss. Like, no problem at all. We have Dran. This third consecutive MVP bid. 153 damage. What a beast. All right, so Acolyte's Leggings again. I mean, it's adding dodge. 
I think I'm just gonna roll. I mean, this is all just basic gear. Nothing really too inspiring. We're starting to see adept things show up, so I would probably invest in some adept gear if it showed its face. And look at this. We have another promotion for our Dreadlord Zor. Who will be the first elite on the team, so let's absolutely do it. Alright, what do we have? Ooh, Zor. Check this out. Look at this sprite. He's got a cleaver and an axe. Looks like he's ready to go on a rampage for sure. The elite Dreadlord. Awesome, Zor. Looking good, buddy. And then we also have the Hell Beast. Can get promoted. I wonder what this is going to turn into. Okay. Turns into, like, a snake. Maybe something you'd find on, like, an alien planet, right? Very cool looking snake. Sort of sinister and lethal looking. We have Chainmail, which lowers attack speed, but very high defense. Yeah, so Lorne here, I do believe... Quite slow, yeah. 1.5 movement speed compared to 3, right? Everybody else is 3, 3.5. So he's going to be significantly slower moving. He's also got very slow attack speed as well. So I don't necessarily want to lean in too heavily in the areas he's already deficient in. How about let's add another Dreadlord? Yeah, don't mind if I do. Ironclad leggings. I mean, this makes you attack even slower. But it'll make him a walking tank. So let's go ahead and throw this on Lorne. I'm okay with that. And then Zor. Yeah, those give you a little more defense. Let's go ahead and throw this on Bryn, the new Adept Dreadlord. Very nice. Sponsors are starting to snowball just a little bit, which is great. So let's get back on the battlefield here. More of the same ethereal units. Let's go. And I guess I didn't even check if the, uh, if the void units are unlocked. I would assume they are. But we're going to find out here. So double fiery slash is a fitting skill for a fire beast like Lorne. Let's go. Attack speed it needs a lot of work, doesn't it? Wish I could up his move speed. But look at this HP that he's rocking here. 126 at level 2. I'm thinking he's our tank for sure. So let's see if we can get his attack speed and damage up. Just a little bit over time. He should have the wherewithal and stick to itiveness, if you will to simply remain as a presence on the battlefield. But again, very, very slow if you watch him. He's very slow. So for Bryn here, first skill, we have Double Fiery Slash or Self. Double Fiery Slash is the choice. Let's go ahead and get that attack speed up just a little bit. And we have the Beholder. Take him down. Let's get another tick into HP regen here. And then I want to eventually, I think, start going in attack speed. All right, so we have Dodge or Attack Upgrade for Tier. Now, dodge would be great for our Infernite. It would. Not so much for our backline. So let's go ahead and get the attack buff and upgrade the speed. A blink. I mean, you can make you can make the case that you should probably go with blink, but I mean another area he's really strong in, Dren. Crit chance, right? 23.7. What if we got the crit buff here? I think it makes a lot of sense, so let's do it. Attack speed is also quite nice. We're going to go with dodge for you, though. And we have a thunder rune upgrade. Yeah, you bet. Not even a question about that. Let's upgrade the attack speed. And let's keep rolling. All right, the beholder. What is it doing? Is it debuffing my team? I think it's debuffing. Hey, how about this? We got an adept ring, the thunder strike band. Adept amulet. Makes you attack a little bit slower, but adds crit and stun. Quite nice. And we have Crix, the MVP, his first bid. Alright, so our Infernites can promote tier, and so can our Dreadlords. So we can have two elite Dreadlords. That'll be nice. Let's definitely do this. That's why we're saving the cash. Looks like we have a new unit typing on the field that strikes me as some kind of spellcaster. And this must be like the rogue type, for sure. Let's get the Infernite promoted. And what do we have? Dren, okay. More of a stealthy type of demon, right? If you think about this unit is more heavily armored, we got the stealthier version for sure with the smaller axe. So attack speed is down, but crit and stun? I mean, I think this is a really good weapon. His attack speed is already really fast. So if he can dish out stuns, that's where my mind goes anyways. We have Acolyte's Leggings, Rusty Leather Armor... 
Yeah, let's get the rusty leather and throw that on Lorna. Let's go ahead and re-roll just a little bit. Void Whisper. I don't like that. Good attack damage upgrade, but... How about an Infernite's promotion here? So you went from novice to elite in one shop round, and look at this sprite. You gotta love that. The demon with the fire sword, right? Like the Balrog. Tremendous. Growth rate 35. Uh, 43 dodge. 47.5 crit chance. Wow. Okay. So if I can do like a dodge crit build with him, I'm definitely going to try that for sure. You'll love to see it, my friends. Love to see it. Looking forward to seeing him on the battlefield. So we have dodge, lifesteal, and crit chance. Sounds like the perfect ring for you, buddy. I mean, it just does. I changed my mind with the whole stun thing. Although, plus 15 crit. I guess I didn't... Actually, take that back. We're going to go ahead and throw this on you. We're going to keep that on you, I should say. And then we'll throw this on you, Zor. It's stunning. All right, let's go. Lord, it just takes them a while to kind of get involved in the battle. We do have a dodge buff for Lorne, but how about Warcry? So I don't often use this skill, but it's going to force all enemies to target you, and he is our tank, so I think it makes a ton of sense. So let's do it. Let's get that attack speed again. Really curious to see this in battle. Use it, buddy. Let's go, Lorne. Okay, it looks like he used it. I mean, honestly, if I have a choice, right? Like, that's the unit I want them attacking. We got our shock troops in our Infernites and Dreadlord, right? Let's go with the attack speed. Let's start getting a few ticks into that. Looks like we got some elite pants here, the Beastmaster's pants. Yes, of course. Burn chance. Very nice. Got some masterwork leather as well. You love to see it. And Crix with another MVP bid. So I think he guns on earned himself a promotion. What do you say? Actually, oh sorry, that's that's tier. Got a little excited there, my friends. Another Infernite. I think I will. I think I will. I think it's a really good class. I like having a mixture. And plus, how can you deny this sprite? Like, that is a really awesome looking sprite. So let's see, Masterwork Leather is going to increase attack speed and add stun chance as well. I think. It's fitting for Kyle the Infernite, Tarnished Iron Dagger. That'll boost up the attack speed just a little bit too. We have Elite Pants. So that's got Bryn all over him for sure. 106 max HP compared to 162.8 for Lorne. Okay, we do have a boss fight here. So this is like a Ghost Knight, like a boss beholder. Is that a thing? I guess we're going to find out. Attack speed, slow chance. Let's re-roll this, look for some gear. I could add a Dreadlord, but I have to add an army slot. Now, there is a special healer for the demons here, but... I think what I'll do is I will lock up the Doomsayer here. Again, I think it's a really strong class to add. So let's lock it up and maybe take it in the next phase if we can get enough cash. Attack damage, crit chance, and burn chance. That's just, it's just too sweet to turn down. Great item for our stealthy type. All right, let's go. Boss fight. Let's go. Lauren, Bryn, Dren, Kyle. All right, so he gets... So he's trying to go backline, which he knew he would. He's on Crix. So that's not good. Okay, good. Took him out. A Thunder Rune was certainly involved. And Dren gets his first MVP bid. Hopefully it's the first of many. Lots of damage there for our buddy Dren. And how about this, my friends? Well, a couple of observations here. So we can promote Dren to his mythic form, which is super exciting. But we also have the Vixen, which is the healer, okay? So I think, I mean, if we're going to go demon army, I believe that is the missing element, right? That's the only demon that we currently do not have in the party that is part of the demon set. So what I have to do is we have to get Dran promoted first and foremost, right? And look at this sprite. Wow. Mythic Infernite. He's flying. He's got the fire sword. He's got the grand horns here, right? 
Anybody ever play uh, Super Ghouls and Ghosts or just Ghouls and Ghosts? For the Nintendo, Super Nintendo, kind of reminds me of that red flying demon. Those guys are annoying little buggers for sure. We actually can get the army slot. Looks like the Vixen itself is elite already. Interesting. But it's also a healer, which I think we could benefit from. I don't often go with healers, but... For this one, to complete our demon army and to make our sponsors happy, let's do it. So I will add the army slot. We'll lock her up. We will free you, Mr. Doomsayer. And let's get into the fight. Dren, do some things for me. Let's go. Alright, so Dran about to go on a rampage here, my friends. And Kyle gets Blink or Double Fiery Slash. I think that's a no-brainer. Let's get a little dodge with you, pal. We got these eyeball like mage dudes. Alright, Adept War Cry. Or HP buff. That would be another really good one for our tank, Lorne. So yeah, I think we can lock that in as just a skill set choice, right? HP buff, War Cry, Fiery Slash. I like it. And attack speed, we can hit that. Otherwise, attack damage is really, really poor. I suppose he's not really there to kill. He's more there to just be our HP tank. And Crix here gets another offensive magic spell. The Thunderbird. Stuns him. Plus does more damage. You bet. I mean, absolutely. No question about it. Keep hitting that attack speed. Heaven Strike for Dren. Or Adept Crit. I mean, Heaven Strike does stun, so let's do that. And let's hit him with damage now. Wow, 40.9. 132.4 max HP as well. I had a feeling it'd be a very strong class. However, Dren is, at least he was, about half-life, but made a nice recovery. And you gotta love, like, just a big group of demons running wildly toward the enemy. So we can do crit or thrust skill. Let's do crit. I mean, 34.8 crit chance. Might as well lean into sort of what the character is good at. Let's go ahead and hit attack damage here. Alright, so Kyle, hanging in there. Just barely hangs in there, actually. Dren. 2,136 damage. Kyle, though, 1834. Amazing. Okay, so we have a Hell Beast promotion now. Let's definitely bring the Vixen aboard. And we have the Bloody Jane sponsor. Heal amplification 19%. Burn chance 10%. So all of these uh, sponsors are adding to burn chance. Okay? So that's quite interesting. You love to see it. Let's get our Hell Beast promoted. Maybe it'll make them just a little bit faster. Alright, so definitely a more grand looking specimen right there. So if you've ever played like Heroes of Might and Magic, right? That great series, love that series. Let me know in the comment section below if you played some HOMM in your day. But this reminds me of like, you know, upgrading one of the dwellings, right? You get the normal like Lava Snake and then you get the upgraded version. Maybe it's like Grand Lava Snake or something. Definitely looks a lot more appealing. Definitely looks a lot better. We have a Celestial Rod. So this will increase heal amount I think I'm good let's re-roll Beastmaster Pants we have 22 gold we can promote the Vixen up to the mythic form however we're one gold short uh, yeah we're locking this up and we're not turning back in fact why don't we go ahead and grab the Beastmaster Pants yeah we got some units that could certainly use them including Lorne Let's go with this on Zor. All right, let's get out there. You're locked up. Let's go. I'm going to keep my eye on... What is that? It's hard to read. Zan? X-A-N Zan? Let's see what she's doing. Got an opportunity to heal right here. Heal Lorne. Zan. It's right there. HP buff elite. Yes. Attack speed. Looks like the attack speed improved just a little bit with the... Tier change to Elite. AOE Healing Light. Yeah, don't mind if I do on that one. In fact, I feel like it's been so long since we used a healer here on the channel. Looks like you can increase the healing amount as well. Let's just go all in. Let's, let's lean in. 
Lauren certainly needs a little stroke of healing for sure. In fact, Kyle is also getting... Like, he is uh, risking it for sure. I guess I've never uh, doubted Kyle's dedication to the warpad. Heaven Strike Elite. Yes. Let's go with... Attack damage again. You bet, more DPS. Alright, so the enemies are starting to kind of charge up a little bit. Kind of scary. He's got three stat points available. So let's see. Attack speed. I mean, we could go damage. Let's go all three into damage. And we get a bunch of gold there. We get an elite ring. Crit and dodge. Very nice. Moon shadow short bow. And Dren, to nobody's surprise. All right, so we have the Vixen. We also have the Doomsayer. Okay, so this is this is going well. So Zan, get Mythic. And what do we have? Wow, look at this beast right here. A Mythic Vixen. Looking good. Looking good. Let's see how well you heal. Slow Bite Scepter, heal amount 4. Slow Chance 15. I think I'll kind of wait to make that move. We have the Adept Doomsayer about to go elite. So Crix is our boy. And look at that. Definitely more of a nefarious demon. If I don't say so myself. So attack speed down, but crit and stun up. Let's see. What is Kyle rocking? Crit burn and attack damage up. I mean, I think that's okay. It also wouldn't be the worst thing for... I mean, I think this is a decent one for you with the crit buff, right? And then Crix, you can throw this on to boost up that attack damage just a little bit. Slow Bite Scepter, gotta throw it on you. Xan, you can go ahead and take this Celestial Rod. We also have this, Life Steal, Crit, and Dodge. Yeah, that's gotta go on Dren. It's not even a question in my mind about that. Which frees up the Thunderstrike band. So crit and stun. Okay, so I think Kyle can benefit from that. That's what he's got on. Okay. Tier. And these guys have decent crit chance as well. Probably because of that sponsor. So I would leave you, Bryn. And we don't have any ranged units, so we can sell that freely. Another Dreadlord. Swift Wind Charm. Dodge and Attack Speed. Frozen Ember Ring. Who is upping crit? So the fire passed by 30%. Okay, so that's why all my units are critting regularly. Okay, good to know. Let's go ahead and re-roll. Either that or... Yeah, let's re-roll. Blazing Sun Ring. Or we can get a Mythic Hell Beast. How about this? And we can just barely afford it right before a boss fight too. Looks like we got... It's like a golem with a big sword or just like a shadowy executioner dude. Let's go mythic with Lorne. Hey, how about this? So this is the final boss of... The, the fire world before the, the void, right? If you remember that run, it would have been... What, two videos ago? Features this guy as the final boss. So that's very cool. Now he's on our team. Diablo, essentially. I think I'm going to lock this up. Yeah, that 50 burn chance is really, really good with what we're rocking with here. So let's go. Stay alive. Okay, this guy looks kind of imposing. He's doing a lot of damage. But he's not enough for our just sheer DPS. So we have thrust skill or HP buff. I mean, it's burn chance. I suppose we can go with that. Do I hit dodge twice? Could also hit attack speed. Let's go with dodge. Alright, so we have Lorne. I actually like the way this character is being built. Let's go with elite double fiery slash. Actually, no. Let's go with war cry. I want to see that in action. And attack speed definitely needs some love, but 253 HP. 
And he's hitting for 69 now. Quite nice. And we get an elite weapon, the Arcane Dreamer. Ups attack range and speed, damage and poison. Quite nice. Dren, another MVP bid. Who'd have thought? Infernite. Yes, we can actually add another Doomsayer as well. I do really like the idea of that. And we could do it. We could do it. But first, let's get Kyle. Definitely one of my more favorite sprites right there, for sure. It's simple. Demon with like a two-handed fire sword. So do I add to the army and then bring on the Doomsayer? Either that or I buy the Blazing Sun Ring. We just fought the boss. We're going to do it. I want a ferocious band of demons. Let's go. And look at Lorne just bigger than everyone. Badder than everyone as well. If you could ever get involved into the fight. We have Rolf. He is our new Doomsayer. Angel's Disgrace. This is an AoE spell. Absolutely. We'll go with that every time. Uh, let's hit attack speed. Let's keep hitting this. The team seems pretty formidable right now. Let's go ahead and hit... Bloodlust. And let's go attack speed. Tier kind of got a pretty unfortunate role with skills. No offensive magic. But Elite Thunderbird for Cricks definitely makes up four deficiencies in the team. So what does particularly scare me is when my guys can't get back to spawn fast enough, right? And then the enemy drops in. It's kind of scary because I feel like some of our weaker units are exposed. Double Fiery Slash or Elite Crit for Kyle. Let's go Elite Crit. And attack damage. Lauren getting involved though. I'd like to see Lauren get an MVP bid, for sure. You'll have to let me know in the comment section below, my friends. What character were you pulling for the most, right? Who is your favorite character in this run so far? I mean, for me, it's gotta be Dren. It's gotta be. I just like the faster, stealthier characters, and what do you know, Lauren got a silver or bronze medal, depending on your perspective. So here we go. We have a Dreadlord Elite ready to promote. So which one do we like the best? We got Zor with Adept Windstab or Bryn with Double Fiery Slash Elite and Wind Slash Elite. It's obvious. Bryn, welcome to Mythic Status. And let's get a look at this. Okay, so Bryn becomes an Arachnid with armor and an axe. You gotta love this one too. I didn't see this transformation coming, but... It makes sense. you love to see it, my friends. We actually got a mythic weapon as well. It's a Skyfire, unfortunately, a ranger's weapon. The one class that we do not have covered with the demons here. So we can sell it freely. We're only going demons in this one. We can actually sell this too and this. Man, I'm getting a lot of bows. So for our elite staff, I think you gotta go with... I mean, I gotta give the Cricks. In my mind, he's the most impactful unit that we have. In the back row, that is, anyways. Zan. Heal amount four. Yeah, why don't you take that? I think just overall, we need some more weaponry and gear. Could get another Mythic Priest, the Vixen. How about let's promote Tyr once and for all. And he gets to elite status. All right, Blazing Sun Ring. Do we want it? Attack damage 10, burn chance 50. I think it goes really good with what we're rocking with. So let's do it. Let's re-roll. Golden Lion Plate. They must have added some gear too. Golden Lion Plate. Attack speed down, but max HP 120. Stun and burn. Wow. 65. We have 65. Sometimes things are just meant to be, my friends. So let's do it. Sounds tremendous for Lorne here. Does it not? Sure does. An attack damage and then burn chance. I mean, this seems like a great item for you as well. So we have the rusty leather. Let's find a home for this. 
cloth vestments. Throw it on you. All right, looking good. So we have new items. We have not very often used sponsors. We have awesome new sprites and portraits and characters. You love to see it, my friends. Let's go. And not to mention, we have the Void Realm. Demons versus Void. All right, attack speed. Let's keep hitting it. All right, Zor. Windstab. Falcon Slash. Let's go with Falcon Slash to give him a little variety. And he's got five stat points. Let's see. Attack speed could use just a little bit of help. So let's go with three into attack speed, two into damage. We have Thorn Shield or Crit Buff. Let's go with Crit Buff. And this is Dran, of course. So attack speed is topped out. So we could go damage, we could go dodge. Let's hit dodge twice. 95.2 crit chance for Dran as well. Keep in mind. So Rolf gets split shot here. Definitely take that. Don't want him uh, charging into battle. And it looks like we have like little spirit dudes. Okay, we have Warcry or Blink. I mean, my only hesitation with Blink is it puts you in a bad spot right away. However, maybe we're underestimating Bryn just a little bit. Let's do it. Attack speed, let's go with damage. The AoE spells are just so strong. They really are. And what do we have here? We have the Eternal Phoenix Soul Plate. Lifesteal, stun, burn, attack, damage, and max HP. You love to see this. And then Ironclad Greaves as well. A pretty decent piece of elite gear for sure. And then of course the proverbial bows. Like, can't get away from those. Okay, so let's think about this for a moment. We do have a boss fight, and look at this. Looks like one of those beholders that's all leveled up, like a Gorgon or something now. Wonder if it will uh, broadly debuff my team. I guess we're going to find out. Let's go ahead and re-roll, though. Emulet of the Silent Forest. Crit and dodge. How about another Dreadlord promotion? Don't mind if I do. Zor. Get it. We have the Wyvern Pike Spear. I think we do need some weaponry, so let's go ahead and buy that. Let's re-roll. Blazing Sun Ring. Another Hell Beast. I can't afford any of this anyways. So let's just save it. Eternal Phoenix Soul Plate, I mean, it's got to go on you, buddy. And so does the uh, Elite Weapon. We've been in desperate need of that, for sure. Uh, let's see for our other dude, Kyle. So he's got the Masterwork Leather. He's got no pants on. Man, what am I doing to you, Kyle? Ragged Short Sword. I think that little dagger is good for him. Uh, Lauren's looking pretty good. How about a weapon, though? Kyle could use some pants. But he's not necessarily... An armored type, if you know what I mean. Let's throw these on you. I suppose we can throw these on you. I don't like how heavy they are, but... I think we can take this off. No, never mind. Let's keep this on. I was thinking dodge, but... We can always go in dodge on another character. Like Cricks. Start getting Cricks some gear. He is important to the Warband after all. Alright, here we go. Boss fight. Party size 9 of 9. All demons. We're looking good. A blend of Elite and Mythic. Let's go. Alright, so Bryn, of course. That is what happens when you teleport in. And This fellow right here killed Rolf and Zor as well. Wow. So he's got some serious attack power, for sure. 
Okay. You never want to get too confident in this game, that's for sure. So we're going to have to reassess. We certainly did lose some units, though. Dran, Crix, and Kyle. I mean, we got Dran. We still have Crix. Looks like we lost our... We lost both of our little spider dudes. So I could actually bring these guys back, though. So I wonder if I could... Could I look at their skills? I know Bryn was good. Let's bring Bryn back. Silent Shadow Vestments. We have Chaos Armor. What is this? Max HP, Life Steal, Crit Chance, Dodge Chance, Stun, and Burn. Wow. My goodness. That is insane. Radiant Beacon Amulet. Skill slots too. Uh, yes, we have to buy this. I will buy that even over bringing my characters back. I will. And this has got to go on you, buddy. Chaos Armor. A new addition. And you love to see it. Okay, so, let's see, Kyle, you got to get to mythic status, bud. We just need you there. Bryn, you can throw this on. How about this? Throw this on. And this. Lifesteal, crit, and dodge. You could use it. Pants. Get some. All right, so I'm working with 25 here. We have Silent Shadow Vestments. It's a very good piece of gear. Could bring out another Vixen, or we could start from scratch with a Dreadlord. I don't like that. So let's go ahead and... Looks like we have the boss from a few rounds ago, just as a normal spawning enemy. 31 and 30. Does a guy just... Do I sell some stuff to get to that threshold? I've got a few things to sell. Let's do it. Let's bring one more of these guys back. So we have Rolf, level 5. Or Zor. I mean, he's mythic. We gotta. Do better next time. Let's go. Zor has fallen again. Well, I'm not gonna make a, a habit of continuously bringing back a guy that cannot stay alive because he keeps charging into battle. And that is, of course, always the the issue with doing dashing skills, right? It just is. Crix gets elite thunder rune, though. That is quite nice. Let's go ahead and hit the attack speed twice. Elite attack upgrade. Yep, don't mind if I do attack speed twice as well. Tyr and Crix. The guys that we started with, right? And the enemies certainly are getting a little more ferocious. They have a little more staying power for sure. It's never just a walk in the park here, my friends. It never is. Dran, Kyle, and Lorne. Good to see Lorne getting some love. Alright, so we have a Mythic Infernite for 25 gold. It's like, uh, yeah, don't mind if I do, right? Silent Shadow Vestments. One of my favorite pieces of gear. Range, damage, and slow chance. Don't mind if I do. So let's throw this on you. That on you. This on you. And we could use some weaponry. Let's get back out there. Looks like we have kind of more of the same. The last wave certainly wasn't a walk in the park, right? Definitely wasn't. But I think you're really seeing the difference between high growth characters and low growth characters for sure. You know where the Infernite is a very good growth character. I think it's 35. And Zor and the Dread Knights, I believe it's called. Dreadlord. The spider looking dude. They only have a growth rate of like 10. So it is a lot different. Oh, let's go dodge with you, pal. Okay, Kyle is not in a good spot. I don't like this. AoE Elite Healing. Yes. Don't mind if I do. Let's get the healing value up as well. 
Don't really notice your, your healing prowess. Uh, Frozen Blade, Electric Slash for stun. I just like his kit too much. Attack speed. Alright, we have Stealth, we have Elite Heaven Strike. Let's go with Elite Heaven Strike. Let's hit the damage. Okay, we're hanging in there. Demons versus Void, so far the demons are prevailing. We're led by some very strong heroes though. And we get an inspiring Ragged Club as our reward there. Late game. Funny stuff. We have the Spellkeeper, a mythic weapon. And we do have a boss fight. Looks like we have an elite, like, golem, two-handed sword, golem mad, golem smash dude. You know what I mean? We also have a hell beast as a mythic warrior available for hire right off the bench. I kind of like that idea. Let's go with the spellkeeper, though. It's a mythic weapon. It's available. And we have... Well, I guess it's got to go on Zen. I suppose I wasn't thinking about that. I mean, plus 22 heal amount. If you can't keep the guys propped up with that kind of weaponry, then I'm not sure I can help you. Uh, Crix, what are you rocking? Got an elite weapon, okay. Dear, here you go. Boom. Alright, do I bring aboard the Hell Beast? I mean, I think more beef on the front line is not a bad thing. The one thing that does concern me is just how slow they are. What does this button do? Sponsors for this hero. Okay. So it'll show you the sponsors that maybe in adding that hero it will create for you. Oh, got it. Just the sponsors that that hero is involved with. I definitely want to do a run where we try to get as many sponsors on the field as possible. That would be an interesting run to try to do don't even know how I would start to kind of set that up though you know it's like what is your opening team comp what does that look like but back to the question at hand I think we can add a hell beast and I'll save the cash here Matt's I guess get equipped with a ragged club I was kind of ragging on it but no pun intended it's there and let's go let's see how this goes Lorne and Matt on the front lines. Lure him in with the war cry. Craft is taking some hits. A thrust skill or double fiery slash. Let's go with double fiery slash. Kyle again, still waiting to become mythic. Let's hit that damage. Wow, this guy has a lot of HP. Luckily, we were able to carve him down, but... That's a tough unit for sure. A craft with the dash. Do we go with dash? No, of course not. Definitely not. We're not going with dash. Learned my lesson already. A war cry for Matt. Yes. Attack speed is 2.1. Yikes. But that's okay. They're not really a high DPS unit. He's got to learn from Lorne. For sure. We have another Infernite. I mean, I think it's probably one of the best units you can get. We have a Wyvern Pike Spear. Let's grab that. Give it to Craft. Boom. Actually, no. I take that back. Let's give it to Kyle. He's at least proven, right? Craft has a way to go. And I kind of saw him getting his butt kicked just a little bit. All right, so instead of saving up to add, I think what I have to do is roll. Radiant Beacon Amulet. Rusty Leather Armor. I mean, we need armor, right? It would be great to actually get some more Mythic gear. So let's roll. Look for something a little more impactful. See if there's any opportunity to promote along the way. Savage Leather Pants. I mean, we need pants, right? Tyr does. So does Matt. So let's grab it. Matt, being a frontliner, it's all yours. And let's go 
save the cash, get a bunch of shop slots available, and then we can reroll a little more freely in the next shop round. But first, let's see if we can lay waste to our enemies. I'm liking the way this team is coming together. I think those Infernites are where it's at, though. As you might expect. Alright, so Wind Slash, which slows, or Fiery Slash, which burns. Let's stick with the Fiery Slash, and let's hit him with the damage. Yeah. I mean, he's doing good damage. He is. You gotta give him that much. Bryn here has good attack speed. But the growth just tapers off hard. It, it just does. It's just not as strong of a character. The Dreadlord, it's... It's nowhere even close. The Hellbeast is a pretty good class. I mean, Matt here, level 4, 350 HP. Let's get him with Warcry, and let's get 2 into attack speed. Alright, so we got a lot of these Golem dudes with the two-handed sword. Those guys are kind of scary. Got those little spirit dudes as well. They started coming kind of late in the matchup, and Dran gets another MVP bit. Put this guy in the Hall of Fame already. Let's go. And what do we have here? Like a Cyclops? Like a futuristic moon Cyclops or something. How about the Golden Lion Leg Cards? HP 80. Attack speed down. Burn chance up. But HP 80 on legs. My goodness. Absolutely. Let's roll Astral Ember Wand. I mean, I think so, right? Yeah, we got Tear. He could use it. Lowers attack range, but significantly increases damage. In fact, it'd be great to get Kyle up to the next tier. What do you say, game? Hey, I read my mind. What do you know? Kyle, welcome. You've been kind of hanging out in mediocrity for a while. So why don't you throw on these legs and get some HP. And let's see. Brynn, you could use some heavier armor even. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'll take that. We'll give it to Kyle. I mean, he's been with us the whole time, right? Give you a, just a little bit of dodge. Maybe you can manage to stay alive. We'll find out here, my friends. We'll find out. I mean, I could re-roll. Take a look at what's there. Or we could just go for it. The Cyclopean Moon Boss. Let's go. Okay, this is a really big dude. His name is Jay. Simply Jay. <laughs> and he gets rendered down. And my friends, we do it. We conquer the void with the Demon Party. And you'll love to see it. So let's see. Total damage. 1.3 mil. We have... 48,000 about in healing. I'm not gonna give Zan credit for all of that. I don't think that was all Zan's doing. A lot of HP natural regen there, but Zan obviously chipped in here with the elite AoE healing lights. 29 units, 652 kills, wave 17, and 88 items. And of course, here's the party for the record books. I think you gotta put Dran in the halls, right? You just gotta. You gotta. But how about you? What do you think? Who is your favorite character here in this run? I think you can make a case for Kyle, right? He did a lot with, you know, being an inferior class for sure. He did a lot. And then he finally got his wings at the end, if you will. Bryn did see the other side, the dark side, the side of death. But came back for a last hurrah and managed to hang around. He's retired with a tarnished iron dagger. That's kind of funny. Then Lorne, I think... Probably a bit underrated, underappreciated for sure. But I do like the kit that we put on Lorne here with the HP buff. We got the war cry, sort of luring the enemy. And then once they're lured in, a double fiery slash to the face for the win. And I also think Crix and Tyr here built very differently, right? Crix obviously more of the offensive threat. But I do think that these two did really good things as well. Maybe they get a little lost in the shuffle when, you know, there's so much chaos going on, but, I mean, AoE spells are just so strong in this game. 
Good stuff. Fun stuff. I gotta admit that I do really enjoy the, the demon party. I think they have a lot of good characters. And while I'm thinking about runs here, I'd like to put together a run just using my favorite characters, right? I think I could make the case for Infernites or maybe even one of these dudes. I like that the Infernite can obviously get to Mythic. But anyways, let's pop back to the main menu here, my friends. We're not going to bother with Endless here today. It just creates like a three hour long video that I have to chop down. I've already showed you how to get to level 65. You can certainly check that video out. It's right here on the channel. It got a nice, neat little playlist for Heroes Warband. Check it out if you want to know how to get that Steam achievement. But what we want to do here, my friends, is I want to check something. So we want to go Warband. And how about this, my friends? We have the Star Seekers. So these are the Void units available to unlock and purchase. Meaning we have to do a Void versus something run. So I also want you to help me out in the comment section below. What do you want to see? What does it make sense? Who are the Void characters upset with to the point where they want to wage war? Right? Void versus what? What run do you want to see Void versus whom? We got Orcs. Void versus the Undead. Maybe the Ethereal Void units want to defy death or kill death, if you will. Maybe something like that. Maybe there's like a story angle that we can work in. Maybe they want a little bit of revenge on the demons. I mean, it all makes sense. You let me know what you want to see. Void versus whom. Let me know in the comment section below. But we have the Arcanist. So a spell casting unit. Again, slow attack speed. Seems quite similar to the Doomsayer here. Wonder if it has a splash damage attack. 32 points. We have the X Striker. So that's the little swordsman we've been seeing. I think this guy will eventually evolve into definitely that big two-handed sword golem dude. I'm pretty sure. I can see the resemblance. Melee unit. Fast move speed. Fast attack speed as well. It's got some base dodge. Maybe this is sort of our Infernite type. Our rogue type, if you will. Then we have the Void Reaver. So that's these uh, sort of gelatinous fellows. These ethereal spiritual type fellows. Max HP 65. So good base HP. Very slow as well. And this one just might evolve into the final boss that we just faced. I guess we're going to have to find out when we do the Void Run. But 20, 10, and 32. We can get them all. So let's go ahead and get them unlocked. Boom. Void Lord achievement unlocked as well. I don't think you can see it on my screen, but we got it on Steam. So let's just, uh, let's add them to a party and let's see what they do. You can get a little feel of what they do. Just by attacking the, the target dummy. So let's see. So Jira. Oh yeah, Kyle does indeed have an area attack. You'd love to see it. Snow is the sort of a lumbering presence. But really cool stuff. Would really like to see what their more advanced forms become. Absolutely. So let me know in the comment section below, my friends, what you want to see. Void versus what? Let me know. And with that said, I think I'm going to get on out of here. But before I do, please give the video a like if you're liking the Heroes Warband. I want to thank you so much for spending some time here on the channel today. And last, if you're still hanging out here at the end of the video and you are not subscribed, then please consider becoming a subscriber. Join a growing community. We'd love to have you. We're doing all kinds of fun things here on the regular. And if you want to be a part of that, then you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. So with all of that said, my friends, I'm going to get on out of here. But thanks again so much. And I'll be catching you in the next video. Thanks a lot.